everybody, welcome back to another episode here on the Mad Miner server with me and Sophie. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, see, I've got a big map wall here. Put in a little river there, which you caught at the beginning of the episode, that little before and after. And you'll notice we've got a little spot picked out. The theme of this week's episode is friends and community support. I've noticed that my videos have been getting a lot more views in the last few weeks, and I've actually gained about eight subscribers, which I'm super stoked on, uh, that anybody would even want to watch what I'm doing here or be interested in my awkwardness. It's totally awesome. Um, so what I wanted to do was I wanted to show some support for our other uh, small content creator that we have here on the server. Um, which are Mad Maddie and Domilus. So uh, we're going to check out their bases real quick. And then when we come back, we're going to start on building an iron farm. Alrighty, everyone. So this is Mad Maddie's starter base. Um, she is the admin of our server, one of my close friends. I'm going to put the link to her channel down below. Um, if you enjoy watching my content and you like watching the uh, shenanigans that I get into, chances are you'd enjoy watching her content too. Um, but yeah, I'm going to link her channel down below. If you could go show her some love or give her a uh, subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Alrighty, so this is the other content creator on our server, Damalas. Uh, this is their little area that they're working on with Morgan Iron, one of our other admins. I'm going to link her channel down below um, if you want to check her stuff out as well. If you like my content, like I said with Maddie's, chances are uh, you'll like Damalas's just like you'll like Maddie's. Uh, like I said at the beginning, um, I really do appreciate all the support that I've been getting from people uh, watching my videos and liking my videos. So I just wanted to make this a very uh, friendly, very community oriented uh, sort of an episode between showing some love and support to everybody that's checking out my stuff and uh, maybe show some love and support for the other uh, creators here on our server. But we're going to head back to the swamp um, so we can meet up with one of our other uh, server mates who's going to help me building an iron farm. Alrighty, folks, so I hope you enjoyed uh, taking a little sneak peek at what Maddie and Damalas are up to in their areas. Uh, but for now, we're going to move forward into the <laughs> iron farm. I can see Mindy there eyeing us a little bit. I bet you thought I forgot about him. Um, I didn't. I actually had very big plans uh, for Mindy. Um, even more than just uh, being my roomie up here. So we're going to see if we can catch him in this boat. Maybe. What is that magic? Was he not falling into the boat? Oh, God. Oh, Mindy, don't die. Oh, thank God. Well, I'm just having the hardest time with this, aren't I? Alrighty, so now that we have Mindy in a boat, we're going to um, escape plan him. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. You're right there, Mindy. He's all right. Make sure head might get stuck a little. Nope. Perfect. You're going to like your new home, Mindy, with your family. Do-do-do, do All right. Why I put this river in should seem a little more obvious now. <laughs> I want to make sure that, uh... I have the ability to maneuver around the swamp by boat. If this will work. 
Come on, dude. There we go, Mindy. Perfect. Huh. All right, so there's Mindy in his little cage. Um, now all we need to do is uh, get Mindy a boyfriend. Um, preferably a zombie variety um, villager, hopefully. And uh, they will be the base for our iron farm. It is easier if we just have the two villagers and then kind of breed them up uh, while we're building the farm or after we build the farm. But we'll get into all those specifics uh, once Coop comes over and helps us uh, put together the rest of the farm. But first, we got to find that zombie villager. Um, that way we can have two to start. There we go. Huh, I swear, they're worse than trying to wrangle cats. So, we have a partner for Mindy now. We're going to wait for them to cure down there in that little bunker I've made. And then I already have a bed set up here. And hopefully uh, this villager should link to that bed once it's cured. Um, so we're going to uh, see if we can manage this um, this time. Um, and it was a giant pain in the butt trying to get <laughs> this villager. Um, this is the fourth night in a row I've tried to catch a zombie villager. I managed to catch a swamp zombie villager. Um, another time, they ended up dying because I'm a dummy. Um, luckily, I caught this one. Um, walked him over here. I did have two. Um, but then the one got distracted by a skelly and they ended up dying. All right, and there he is. All right, so this should be as easy as us going like this. Oh. oh, not what I wanted. That works. If we go like this. Come on, dude. Huh. All righty, perfect. I've got his new name here. All right, so now we have Mort and Mindy. And they're going to be the basis of our iron farm. So now all I have to do is get a hold of Cooper on uh, Discord and get his butt over here so we can start building this iron farm. I have pretty much all the resources right in this little bunker with our villagers. Um, they're in that shulker there and in those uh, barrels there. So once we get Coop over here, we can start knocking out this farm. You can't hear it, but right now, the national anthem for the USSR is playing a little bit in the background. The people's champion is here to help me with the iron farm. <laughs> All right. Did you probably already saw the spot because I know you've been to the witch farm. All right, so I've got everything pretty much in these chests, and then the two starter villagers are in there. All right, we need to get these knuckleheads moved. Okay, where do you want them? Just off to the side. Okay. Um, yeah, actually just off to the side on the platform is fine. This is already chunk aligned. These are the corners? Yeah, yeah, no, I, um, I got a banner and stuff too if you want to double check it. Oh, no. If you use the banner, I'm sure it's good. Perfect. That saved us a little bit of time. Trying to figure out what would be easier, a boat or minecarts? We will eventually need them in minecarts. It might be easier to just put them in there now. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, honestly. See if I can get one of these dummies in the Aww. cart. Come on. Yeah. Goodbye. That, 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 that. Not you. Okay, stay here. He won't go far anyways, because he's they're I linked to these uh, workstations. Perfect. Oh. I knew it would be easier to corral them if I gave them workstations and beds. 
You think farther ahead than me. I'm usually chasing them like 50 blocks before I can get them back in a boat. Come on. Quit being stubborn. There we go. Off you go. I should be good to break their beds, right? Yes. Yeah, we're going to have to anyway to reset the village. I figured. They can't link to your bed wherever it's at, right? Um, the only bed I have anywhere near here is in the upper left-hand corner of the factory. So it's like... So, the far corner from us? Yeah. Okay, they can't see that from here. Nope, it's... I did try to think about, like, every contingency I could, because I wanted this to go really smoothly. Um, chests? Uh, you don't have to use four double chests. I do. Do you want me to just make it the way I normally do? Yeah, no, we're just going to go the same exact way you do, because I'm sure it'll get backed up with iron if I don't otherwise. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. Silent only does one double chest, and if you're in your base with it loaded, it will back up. Right. Yeah, and I'm I'm planning on, if I'm not going to be directly in the factory, I'm going to be in this vicinity for probably the next couple of weeks to a month. Okay. So I'll definitely need the storage. I've been, like, terraforming, putting rivers in, doing all sorts of shit. So you're trying to find the exact center? It has to be a little off-center because it's a 3 by 3 shoot, but um, this is pretty much it. Cool. Yeah, so I will set it offset towards the factory. Okay. One, two, three. We'll put the lava in last so we don't end up burning ourselves <laughs> the whole time we're building it. That makes sense. <laughs> I don't want to burn to death either. Uh, now I need one stack of glass. We could put the campfires in last too because the smoke kind of gets in the way of building. You do the kill chamber in glass so you can see if there's golems in it, huh? Yep. Pretty smart. So you do campfires and a lava blade. Yes, because cats are sneaky, and they won't always die falling through the lava blade. I didn't even think about cats, to be completely honest with you. It's honestly an awesome early game string farm. And that's going to be the water platform, which you're building now. Uh, no, this is going to be mostly the villagers. It'll just have a small water platform towards the center. Definitely like that smooth stone and smooth sandstone combination. I wasn't sure how I felt about it, but seeing them together, it's it'll look nice. It'll look nice in a building, too, because I'm going to use uh, andesite slabs and stairs for accents around windows and stuff. Sweet. Yeah. No, this does look good. I was wondering how it would look, too. Now, the villagers stand directly on the leaf platform? Yes. Interesting. And that's because nothing can spawn on them. Exactly. While you're building those platforms, I can work on setting up the minecart rails and the powered oh, rails okay. to push them up to the platform so we're ready for that step. Um, kind of preemptively. Actually, now's the perfect time to get that going. Second, I saw you putting in the leaves and shit. I'm like, uh, you know what? I can start working on this. <laughs> we'll say just from watching you put this together, it does seem pretty straightforward. Yeah, it's not bad. <clears throat> I had no idea it was over a thousand uh, solid blocks until I counted, because it doesn't look it, but... Yeah, that caught me off guard a little bit, but I knew I had more than enough. Yeah. Three. You want me to move Mork and Mindy now? If you can get them up here, um, keep them in the minecart. Yeah, okay. go ahead and get them up here. Try our luck at it. Wow, 
Well, that shouldn't have happened. One of them escaped. Um, no. The minecart glitched through the... Even though all the rails were connected, it glitched. He's like half in a dirt block. He's okay, right? No, yeah, he's fine. Wow. Yeah. Um, I'm going to leave him there and sleep. <laughs> Jeez. I don't even know what to do. Try and push him back down, maybe. And then refix the rail. And four, five. There we go. Oh. Okay, so... Do this without hitting your hitbox. For some reason, I'm not surprised it's more giving me trouble. You gotta have some kind of trouble with villagers. Oh. Please. <laughs> Thank you. One. You stay up here. That's awesome. There we go. Two peens and oh. a pod. The first bed you place is the most important because it's the one that establishes the village. Okay. Um. The, the pillow of the bed will be the center of the village. I know that sounds weird. I've, um, I've watched a couple of videos. It does sound weird, but once you know about like villagers a little bit, it sounds less weird, but it's still funny. I don't know why they did it that way. Not to like cut you off, but in what direction do you need me to place the bed, I guess, is my question. So either uh, face it this way. Okay, with the pillow like near the hole? Near the hole, exactly. Okay. Like that. We wait for one of them to take it. There we go. And now place the second one and make sure the other guy takes it. Next to it? Yep. Same way? Uh, yeah. As silly as it sounds, I wanted my two first villagers to have different colored beds. Uh, in Silent Tutorial, he actually does the first bed a different color because he wants you to remember where the front of the village is. Right. Where the center of the village is. Did I start throwing carrots at him now or no? Uh, let's get the beds down. Okay. And then their workstations, I because I'm going to put them in the orientation I want, and then we can start breeding them. Okay, cool. All right. Uh... Do you want to place the workstations where you want them? Um, I mean, and I can just show you where to put them pretty much using dirt. Sure. Okay, so one will go, I might need to grab some more dirt. Workstation here, 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 here. It's pretty much every other block. Okay. Oh shit. What's up? I just insta mined with my fucking hand a leaf. Oh, that's okay. I'll grab some more. <laughs> Jesus. Won't be the last time. I'm breaking everything. I broke a piece of sandstone too. Idiot. Wait, you can break sand? Oh, you must have had a pickaxe in your hand. Yes, I did pick it up. Okay. Remove the pickaxe. There we go. Good thing I'm not rough and tumble like you and have a beacon already. <laughs> oh god, I'd just make my poor iron farm explode probably. No, no, that, that one was fine. Um, oh. Right here and then just to the corner of it for the next one. Right here? Yep. Hey, 
Why are you taking that job? Oh, yeah, that's right, because you're already a librarian. You said this is your own design, or this is based on silence design? It's based on silence, but I like to think it's pretty much my own for how much I've customized it since then. Yeah. Because I was going like... Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, because it's not exactly like the either of the ones I've seen him do to tutorials on. This one was probably four tutorials ago. I, I want to keep it this way because this is the one he chunk aligned. And you know Bedrock. If you can chunk align any farm, it's always better and more efficient to do it. Yeah, for sure. I have more growing. Oh. So. See them love hearts. Huzzah! <laughs> Oh, the leaf looks so funny on the kids. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's one of the biggest reasons why I always build in a swamp. I just can't get enough of the way the villagers look. <laughs> the freaking lily pad on their head and the purple. Them and uh, jungle villagers. Jungle villagers are fun looking too. Yes. Um, One flaw I've noticed with my design, unfortunately... The kids will like to jump on the workstations, like that one did just now. Some of them will stay there until they grow up. Once they grow up, they start suffocating because they're too tall to be on top of a workstation. Right. I got an eye on the one over here. They're like going to town over here. Good. Got one, two, oh, we've three. We've already got a cat up here. Or we've got five villagers or well baby villagers so far okay you broke your uh sleep bed right when yeah. you slept in yep okay i'm going to continue with the farm get down on that you want to be a librarian so bad i hope you are one when you grow up get off the lectern i wish you could hit them <laughs> I know that sounds horrible, but like the way these lecterns are, like I can't, I'm getting no sort of like bounce off his hitbox. I do have my axe on my hotbar on the off chance that I have to break, uh, like break a workstation. Yes, I was going to say that once you know 20 minutes have gone by, keep your axe on your hotbar in case they're still standing on it. Yeah, because this one, I keep trying to bump into him to get him off the lectern, and he's just not having it. They're going to have a really gorgeous view. Yes. Here on the waterfront. <laughs> this one dude just will not get off this lectern. <laughs> it, it happens. It's just funny to me. How many villagers you got down there? Or can I think you count them? I think I lost count at 12 or 13. Are they still breeding? Um, every once in a while. Okay. They're kind of, they're, they're taking a break. They're not right up on each other currently. If you come into the farm, just be careful because there's like a roving street gang of young villagers right in front of the door. <laughs> okay. For whatever reason, they've all literally just started amassing there. It's so like they they're, wanna, they're all they in line for something. <laughs> they're waiting for the new Halo or something. Whatever the new hot game is. So this is like a twofer, because I've never done an iron farm, and it's basically a trading hall, too. I've never done either of those. Ooh. Oh. Uh, get him, get him. Get. Oh, god dang it, he's on up. Got it. You are- Oh, you are a nitwit anyway! God dang it! All of a sudden I turned around and dude was dying. <laughs> got one- I've got one baby villager, two baby villagers, three. 
four, five. There's two on this side. Six, seven. Yeah, I think we have five or seven. Oh, somebody just took a job. You should see the first golems any second. I feel like I got a pretty decent mix of uh, occupations, too. So, is that a golem or is that a cat? Something went flying down on fire. I'm pretty sure golem. it was a golem. Golem, golem. There it is. First golem's dead. Four whole iron. Couldn't have done it without you, Coop. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Oh, you probably got a bunch down there already. There's already three stacks of iron in there, Coop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? These things are insane. <laughs> The rates for the farm is 420, I know 420, to 440 iron ingots per hour. Where's our last guy at? What I was wondering. <laughs> He's all the way over here. This guy's a cartographer. And he's in the... Oh, they switched. That's okay. Yep, you go to your workstation and you get in there. Yep. Oh, seriously, dude? He's stuck in the corner. Well, that and he doesn't have a profession now. I'll go get the other one in. No! You punk. That's not your workstation. He took another librarian's workstation. Not yours. Go away. Okay, he seems to think that's his. Perfect. Gang's all here. Uh, <laughs> finally, we're done. These empty spots, that's you, where I usually just throw a torch. You don't really have to. But. Um, also, once you trade with each one, it will lock their professions, as you know. And it seems to cause them to want to take somebody else's workstation less. Yep, I'll either do that later today or tomorrow. I'll probably sit here and tinker with all their trades. Alrighty, everybody, um, it's the next day now, and as you can see here, the iron farm is working swimmingly. Um, I've only been on the server for a little while now, and we've got tons of iron. Um, go up here and check them out. I haven't rolled all the villager trades yet, but I have rolled um, all the librarians, and I have the Fletchers set up and a few others. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we've got all the villagers cozy up here in their little work cubbies. And all the librarians back here along the back wall. We've got Mork here in the middle. And we've got Mindy down here holding up the end. Her uh, costs of the mending books keep going up, even though I haven't traded with her in quite some time. Um, it was one emerald, and then it's slowly been creeping up. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, but I might try buying some name tags just to see if I can get that cost of that mending book to come down. Because, honestly... Um, 34 emeralds, no one wants to pay 34 emeralds for a mending book. 13 emeralds is better, but one or two emeralds is best. I think we can all agree on that. Uh, when me and Coop first set up the farm, uh, we did have two cartographers. I decided to switch out one of the cartographers for a cleric, uh, mostly because they clerics get slept on. 
uh, when it comes to making villages, and I feel like it's a real travesty, they buy rotten flesh, and they give you redstone, glowstone, and eyes of ender, and ender pearls sometimes. So, I mean, they're, those are all super handy drops to have access to, so I've got my cleric here. Um, I haven't checked out any of my armors or toolsmiths or my butchers yet, but it'll be nice to be able to get some stuff like rabbit stew without having to craft it and go out and find rabbits and all the ingredients. Just come up here and buy those from the butcher. It'll be nice to get some some diamond gear from the armors and some diamond stuff from the toolsmiths, uh, which is why I threw them in here. I've got the masons here because I'm going to need a lot of quartz in the future. And I know this is only three masons and they only sell it 16 at a time. Um, but the way I like to grind, it'll still be, this will help me with all the quartz and stuff I need rather than just going nether mining. But yeah, I uh, really hope that you folks have enjoyed this episode, and if you did, uh, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, uh, that's cool too. If you want to see more of my awkwardness, <laughs> feel free to give us a subscribe. And if not, I really do hope that everyone has a wonderful day and a beautiful tomorrow, and we'll see you in next week's video.